Hi guys! So in this video, ang pag-aaralan natin ay under ng polynomial or mini, uh, simply, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung introduction ng polynomial para mas ma-appreciate nyo pa yung pagsasolve natin sa algebra ng mga problems involving polynomial expression. Okay, so simulan natin sa term na polynomial. So saan ba nang galing or ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng polynomial by dissecting it or pagkuha ng kanyang root word. Okay, so polynomial is a combination of two word na poly and nomial. So poly in Greek means many. So marami. So siguro na uh, madalas yung ma-encounter yung word na poly in English language or in English terms. While nomial came from the Greek word nomen which means names. Okay. Or in mathematics, we use the word terms. Yan. So meaning, polynomial is many terms in mathematics. Or mathematically speaking, polynomial is what we call many terms. Okay. So ano-ano nga ba yung example ng ating polynomial? Let's say for example, we have 12x raised to 7 minus 9x squared plus 15x cubed plus 9x. Ano pa? 9a squared minus 5. Ano pa? So, 6. Ayan. Next, 7y squared minus 3y plus 14. Ayan. So, ito yung mga example natin ng polynomial. Okay? So, polynomial can be written. Polynomial is in the form of A. Palitan ko lang yung polynomial is in the form of A x raised to n, where n is a non-negative integer. Okay. So again, polynomial is in a form of ax raised to n, where n is a non-negative integer. Okay. Ngayon, identify natin yung mga given natin or yung mga binigay ko sa inyong example ng polynomial. So, sa polynomial, meron tayong tinatawag na terms or many terms. Sabi ko sa inyo, para masabi nating polynomial siya, it should be or it must be many terms. Okay, so yung terms natin can be divided into this part. So, it is uh, the sum of each term, yung polynomial natin, yung term niya. So, yung unang term natin dito ay 12x raised to 7. Yung second term natin ay negative 9x squared, positive 15x cubed, positive 9x. So, it is a sum of 12x squared plus negative 9x squared plus 15x cubed plus 9x. So, basically, uh, meron tayong apat na term. So, yun yung term na tinatawag natin sa polynomial, yung 12x raised to 7 minus 9x squared plus 15x cubed plus 9x. So, each one is a term of the polynomial. How about this one? So, yung term natin dito ay 9a squared and negative 5. Dito naman, we have 6. Dito naman, we have 7y squared minus or negative 3y and then positive 14. So yun yung tinatawag nating terms ng polynomial. So sabi niyo sa sab, sa baka tanong niyo sa akin sir, uh, ang rule natin it should be written in a form of ax raised to n. So where a yung a natin is a co coefficient. a is a coefficient and x yung tinatawag natin variable. Yan. Okay. So, identify natin ngayon yung unang example natin ng polynomial. Yung unang example ba natin ay example ng polynomial? Okay. So, identify natin siya. 
Una, it should be written in the form of AX raised to N. So, yung A natin at yung 12 natin, yung negative 9, yung positive 15, yung positive 9 are what we call coefficient. Coefficients yung tawag natin sa kanila. Okay. So, 12x raised to 7, basically, 12x raised to 7 is in a form of ax raised to n. So, 12x raised to 7 is a polynomial. Negative 9x squared, so wala naman tayong sinabi kung anong symbol ni a as long as coefficient siya. And then, x is a variable. Ayan, yun yung x natin. And then, 2 is a non-negative integer. So, basically, negative 9x squared is also polynomial. 15x cubed is also polynomial. How about 9x? So, 9x can be written as 9. It can be written as 9x raised to 0. Ayan. 9x raised to Sorry, sorry. 9x raised to 1. Raised ko to. 9x raised to 1. So, alam natin na it is already in a form of what? In a form of ax raised to n. So, hindi lang natin nilalagay yung exponent na 1. Okay. Ano pa? Dito naman sa 9a squared minus 5. So, identify natin yung 9a squared. So, yung 9, yung tinatawag nating coefficient. a is the variable squared. So, 9a squared is polynomial. How about negative 5? Is negative 5 considered as polynomial? Yes. Kasi pwede natin isulat si negative 5 as negative 5, since ang variable natin na gamit ay a, so a, negative 5a raised to 0. So, alam natin na any variable aside from 0, any any expression, any variable, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So that's simply negative 5 times 1. So negative 5a raised to 0 is simply negative 5. So this is also an example of a polynomial. Ayan. How about 6? So pwede natin siyang isulat in a form of 6x raised to 0. So it is also in a form of polynomial. So polynomial pa din siya. And the same with 7y squared minus 3y plus 14. Okay. Aside dito sa polynomial na to, meron din tayong tinatawag na terms of polynomial. Ano, ano, man, ano naman yung tinatawag nating terms ng polynomial? Okay, so kung ilan yung term ng polynomial? Let's say for example, yung una natin, we have how many terms? We have 1, 2, 3, and four. So this is a four-term polynomial. A four-term polynomial. Or simply, yung iba tinatawag nila tong multinomial. So pwede natin tawagin na polynomial na lang. How about yung pangalawa natin? Si 9a squared minus 5. So 9a squared minus 5 is a two-term polynomial or binomial. From the word itself, by which means two. Two terms or two, uh, two terms. So, six is isang term lang. It is what we called monomial. Mono means one. So one term polynomial. How about 7y squared minus 3y plus 14? So tatlo yung term niya. This is what we called trinomial. Trinomial siya. Okay. Ano-ano naman po ang example natin ng not polynomial? So, anong mga algebraic expression, algebraic expression naman or terms ang, ang hindi polynomial? Okay, let's say for example, we have... Okay, so we have... Gawin kong red para... Or ito na lang. We have 12 x raised to negative 7 minus 9x squared plus 15x cubed plus 9. Okay. So, 12x raised to negative 7 minus 9x squared plus 15x cubed plus 9. Is it an example of polynomial? Okay. So, ano ba yung polynomial natin? It should be in a form of ax raised to n where n 
is a non-negative integer. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, ang 12x, 12 is the coefficient, tama naman, x is a variable, raised to negative 7. E sabi natin dito, it should be a non-negative integer. So, that means this expression is not a polynomial. Another example, what if we have 5b raised to 1 half minus 5. So basically, uh, it is not an example of polynomial. Why? Kasi unang-una, si 1 half, hindi naman siya integer. Kasi di ba, ang integer natin is a whole number positive or negative. Eh, since 1 half siya, basically, this is not a polynomial expression. Right? This is not a polynomial. Kasi, hindi siya integer. Okay. So, the same goes with what? 5 square root of b minus 5. So, kapag tinransform natin si b raised to 1 half, it will become square root of b. So, that means 5 square root of b minus 5 is not an example of polynomial. Another example. 5b raised to a minus 6. 5b raised to a minus 6. A is a variable. Hindi siya integer. Variable siya. So that means, this is not also an example of a polynomial. So under ng polynomial, ang kailangan nyo rin maintindihan, meron tayong tinatawag na degree of polynomial. Degree of polynomial. So ano po ba ang degree ng polynomial. So, balikan natin ulit yung example natin kanina. So, yung degree natin ay ito. Raised to 7, raised to 2, raised to 3, or raised to 1. Ayan, yung mga degree ng ating polynomial. Ano pa? Dito naman, raised to 2, raised to 0, inad natin kanina. Dito naman, um, raised to 0. Dito naman, 2. O, lagay natin dito, 1. Dito natin dito, ay sorry, y pala yan. Ayan, raised to zero. So, yun yung mga degree ng polynomial. So, in general, let's say for example, yung question is asking what is the degree of the polynomial. Lagi yung tatandaan that you just have to what? You have to allocate yung highest degree ng polynomial. So, again, kapag degree of polynomial ang tinatanong, kukunin niyo yung highest degree ng polynomial. Since in this example, ang highest degree ay 7, Automatically, 7 is the degree of this polynomial. In this example, 2 naman yung, yung degree niya. Dito, 0 yung degree niya. Dito naman, we have 2 yung degree niya. Okay. The next thing that you need to understand sa polynomial ay yung kanyang leading coefficient. Okay, so sir, ano po ba yung tinatawag nating leading coefficient? Bago natin ma-identify yung leading coefficient natin, we have to write first our polynomial in standard form. So paano natin sinusulat sa standard form ang polynomial? So unang gagawin natin, we have to um, locate the degree. So ang standard form natin ng polynomial ay decreasing yung degree niya. So isusulat natin siya in a form of decreasing degree. Okay. Una yung pinakamataas na degree, kasunod yung hanggang sa pababa ng ating degree. Okay. So dito, let's say for example, sa case natin na to, 12x raised to 7 minus 9x squared. So sulat natin siya in standard form. So una yung 12x raised to 7, of course, kasi yun yung pinakamalaking degree. Followed by this one. So we have plus 15x cubed followed by this one minus 9x squared followed by this one na plus 9x. So dagdagan natin uh, para, meron, para hanggang 0 meron siya. So we have plus 12 so, that's simply x raised to 0. Ayan. Or, 12 na lang. So, alisan natin yung x raised to 0. Again, 
12 na lang yon or 12x raised to 0. Leading coefficient. So, sabi natin yung mga coefficient ay yung number na kasama nung ating mga variables sa polynomial. So, we have 12, 15, negative 9, 9, and then 12. So, yung leading coefficient natin ay yung leading coefficient, yung coefficient na kasama nung highest degree o yung nasa una after natin isulat in standard form. So, that means ang leading coefficient natin ay 12. Okay. So, I hope malinaw na sa inyo yung polynomial. So, we may now proceed on uh, the different operations on polynomial expression.